Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are on my project account and we are going to be summoning for the brand new legendary champion who's actually part of a guarantee summons event with the ancient shards for 8 180. And this champion is called Alscore Crimson Horn. Now, this is a champion that's coupled and paired with the Jetney Fusion champion and they do have a couple effect going on a little bit, but for him it's going to be his passive and his A2 and basically he's going to get an increase to 100% chance if Jetney's on the same team to put a 30% decrease speed debuff on the attacker for two turns when he's attacked. And he does have a self heal on his A1. He does have a chance to increase the duration of debuffs, two random debuffs on the target champion he attacks for one turn. But for the A2, he does have a strip. Now this is gonna be, he's gonna have a chance to remove all buffs instead if the Jetney's on the same team. But if not, he's gonna remove two random buffs from the, all the enemies, which is pretty much going to be most of the buffs anyways in most cases. But he also has a heal on his A2. And for the A3, he does have a fully heal a target ally, also place a block damage buff on all allies for two turns. Now, this champion is quite decent, quite decent for sure if you're looking for a uh, uh, some sort of unkillable composition. This is going to be an option as well because it's on a four turn cooldown. So pretty solid. But um, as far as needs on this account, I don't really need him, but I do want him because I can add to my collection, try to fill out the Pokedex, right? Because at the end of the day, it is a gacha game, so he can collect all the the champions if possible but as far as other champions i need i would like to get a harima i would like to get a teodor and whatnot but uh here we go so we are going to be summoning all 180 here to get him and along the way hopefully we can land on something else that's not one of these three because i don't need them but uh here we go plarium bless his account hopefully we can get something amazing here and we have just enough space to open all of this at once so here we go and if you guys are curious on what the uh, summoning events uh, chances are, how it works, if you didn't know, 2x summons events, you basically have a 2 times chance of summoning legendaries and epic champions. But when it comes to 10x champions, you have the same race as regular race as if there's nothing going on. The only reason why it's a different event and it's called 10x event is because once you hit legendary or once you hit epic, then you have a 10 times chance of opening or summoning one of these selected champions that's available. So. The best way to think of it is you get nine extra copies added to the pool once you hit that certain rarity uh, when you hit it on the summoning and that then you have that chance to get it. But it's still really, really low to get any of those champions in general. But um, I'm still hoping for a Harima along the way, if that's possible. Old Hermit George is solid in Faction Wars. He does have a revive. He does have a filter meter boost, very similar to a Gore Grab. And Volgoth is actually amazing as well for just uh, a lot of dungeons in the game, a lot of the Doom Tower dungeons in the game, as far as bosses goes, and it's just mitigating a lot of damage because of his passive here. So really, really solid. He does have the a triple hitter on the A1 as well, as well as a provoke on the A2, which is helpful for Faction Wars. He's really, really good and super underrated, I would say. All right, we would like to hit Legendary along the way though, right? It's not a 2x summons event, but Good race would be awesome. So we got a rare tax as expected. Rare tax is pretty normal for most events that take place. Okay, we got a yellow Gurna. Moving on. Come on, Polarium. Hit us with some lightning. Hit us with some sweet, sweet gold. It's another rare tax. To be expected, guys. It's not a 2x event. To be expected. Come on, where's the lightning at? Another rare text. Was that three? No, that was two in a row, and it was like three out of four, right? Okay, there's the epic. Okay, I'm totally expecting to just go to straight to mercy. <laughs> that's that's normally how it goes, right? But it's fine. We're gonna we're just going for the uh the fragment summon champion anyways. I really like these guarantee summons event because you're, you're pretty much, even if you go all the way to Mercy to 220, you're pretty much guaranteed two legendaries within 220 pulls while going for the, the guaranteed summons event, right? So I really like these kind of events, especially the get one legendary, get one free, because that one you can actually maneuver around and work towards. And just if you're close to Mercy, just save for that event and then boom, you have an extra legendary on top of that. So I really like these type of events.
Okay, we got multiple epics here. And we still have no gold, guys. Still no gold to see. Okay, well, how far are we? Another one of these guys. Okay, we still have uh, 70 left here. I don't remember what where I was as far as the mercy goes for ancient shards, but um, I have no idea, no clue. Come on, give us lightning. Two legendaries in one temple? That would be sick too. Alright, I feel it guys, it's coming. It's coming soon. It's gotta be, right? And the thing is, the odds of us actually hitting a 10x champion when it, when we hit, if we hit legendary, I 10x, 10x's are usually scam. So I'm not even worried about go getting one of the uh, 10x champions listed there. Even though it's the best chance for you to still go for it if you are going for a 10x champion, right? If you are trying to target a certain champion. Rector Drath is really, really good as well. She does place a veil on your entire team. She does have heal, revive. She's an awesome, awesome support champion. A decrease attack on the A1. Super solid kit. Super solid champion. And we are 20 left, guys. Here we go. Okay. I'm feeling a legendary coming really, really soon now. Oh, wow. I don't know where we were on the Mercy, but... You know, worst case scenario, if we are unable to summon a legendary here, we can just wait for the next get one legendary, get one free, if anything, right? I guess that works too. Or if I'm trying to target a 10x and I'm really hoping for the best odds of getting that legendary, then that would be the dream. And we're actually not going to get legendary here other than, wow. So we went 180 deep and we didn't hit any other legendary besides the Alscore. Those are the odds, guys, right? It's a 0.5% chance of summoning a legendary in general, and it's a 1 at 1 200 basically. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty yikes, right? Pretty yikes. It is what it is, you know? We got the champion we're going for, you know? We can't really be too disappointed because we, well, I mean, my expectations were low anyways, but it's, it's still always disappointing. But uh, we got it done, guys. We got the Alscore, the new champion that just came out, and I'm glad to add it to my collection here. And hopefully, I guess I guess just start saving up for um, uh, get one get one legendary free. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do now. And yeah, hope you guys have a better summon session than I do. I what was the uh, 10x? Look at that, guys. We didn't even get any of these epics, and we pulled a decent amount of epics, right? I don't think we saw any one of these epics. 10x scam, guys, as usual, right? <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, the epics usually get a decent chance to get those because, I don't know, the epics, they usually do pop up, but yeah, we didn't get it. Um, it doesn't matter, though. I hope you guys have a better summon session than I do. Hope you guys get exactly what you're looking for if you guys are going to be summoning for the champion. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you guys enjoy the summon session. Unfortunately, I wanted to show you more than just pulling that champion itself. I wanted to show you more than that, but it is what it is. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Have a fabulous weekend. And if you guys do enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next video.